So for this example, we're looking at uh, someone named Tom and their wor workout habits. So any type of growth, it doesn't have to be just population or uh, a disease. It could be any type of growth model. So here it's applied to uh, someone's progress with working out. So Tom can bench press 200 pounds today. So at t equals some value, uh, p of that t value equals 200. And because of his size, he can only bench a maximum of 250 pounds. So right away, we know that k equals 250. When Tom started working out three years ago, so three years ago uh, will be our initial condition. So t equals 0. p of 0 is going to equal 50 pounds. So how much could he bench last year? So we're looking for a t equals value. Well, if he started working three years ago, working out three years ago, that means uh, our t value here uh, is going to be uh, 3. And for how, many, how much he could bench last year uh, is going to be 2. So p of 3 equals 200. What is p of 2? So then we go ahead and try to plug in our growth model. p of t equals carrying capacity, 250 pounds, over a times e to the negative kt plus 1. Well, a here equals 2, uh, 20, 250 minus 50, which was what he started with, initial condition, over 50. And that equals 4. So then our growth model becomes p of t equals 250 over 4 times e to the negative kt plus 1. Well, it's not finished because we still have to solve for this k value, this constant. So we know that uh, right now he can bench 200 pounds. So p of 3 equals 200 equals 250 over 4 times e to the negative k times 3 plus 1. And solving for k, uh, k is going to equal about 0 0.92, so close to 1. Uh, so still a pretty fast growth rate. And plugging this back into our growth model to complete it, p of t equals 250 divided by 4 times e to the negative 0.92t plus 1. So now that we have a completed model, we can go ahead and solve for t at 2. So p of 2 equals 250 divided by 4 times e to the negative 0.92 times 2 plus 1. And this equals, after we solve for it, uh, 122 pounds. So let's see if our answer makes sense. He's benching 200 today. Uh, he started with 50 three years ago. And last year, he could only bench 122. So his growth model was uh, somewhat fast. Uh, it started off exponential, and it was still at a very fast rate of growth near the end because it hopped up 80 pounds in one year. So it all depends on our what, what our proportional constant k is. So once again, the logistic growth model can be applied to many, many situations uh, as long as we apply the variables correctly in the right context. So thanks for watching educator.com. We will see you in the next